currently like 3 a.m. in the morning and for some reason I decided to do dishes. So I'm like hearing my dishwasher and it like sounds like there's freaking people whispering in my apartment. It's creeping me out. Hey, what's up everybody? I am making a video at 3 a.m. in the morning. I don't know what this means. Um, I, this has been an uh, insane week, insane month. October has been like great, but at the same time has not been great. I have like not been sleeping very well. I've not been eating very well. Um, I've been exercising, but like you don't eat and exercise. I've been like losing a shit ton of weight. Um, and like, it's just, I've been like piling on more and more activities and doing more and more things. And like, I think I'm definitely manic. <laughs> I'm struggling with what that means. Like, you know, like when you don't really, you think everything seems fine until like it's not fine. So like right now, every, I mean like it's 3 a.m. in the morning, I'm washing dishes, I'm making a YouTube video. Um, I was looking at classes, like was doing, just like doing stuff that you shouldn't be doing at 3 a.m. in the morning. Like, like needing like mop floors. And it's like, yes, like is that like a bad thing necessarily? Like maybe cause I'm not getting sleep, but like at the same time, it's like, I mean, I'm not, hurting myself but I think these are the steps that like lead to like me falling down I just like don't know what to do anymore um because like I don't realize these things until like afterwards like I was literally looking at like um there's like this bingo chart and it had like little things that like you could like say like you know if you're manic and I'm like oh like I do do those things like another like I was talking about another video how like I dance in my room to music randomly like in the middle of the night apparently like that's like on the bingo chart so it's like I think I might go back on medication, which um, I'm not super excited for because like, I don't want my hair to fall out. And like, I know that's like, not a, the biggest possibility, um, but you know, I've never had any symptoms for any medications, never been allergic to medications. And as soon as I started taking like bipolar um, meds, like that shit hit me. I still like wanna help myself, obviously. Um, I think it's like when I'm in, if you wanna call this stage of like mania, mania, but I'm like in this, it's like I want to, I have like all these great ideas and they always like sort of like sometimes fall short. So um, like in that I'm like, oh, I need to like go see a therapist. I need to tell them like all these different things that are going on with me. And then like when I get to them, I'm like, I'm good. Nothing's wrong. Let's just get out of here. It's just like, I don't know. It's very confusing when you don't even know how you're supposed to feel or how you feel or how to, like how can you explain to someone else like how you feel if you don't know how you feel. And it's, for me, it's not like, I am very cautious in terms of what I say, not because like, I don't, well, yes, because I don't know, but it's also because like, I don't want them to be like, oh shit, you're about to like, spiral out of control, here's some like, intense ass medication because I was dancing in my room late at night and it has nothing to do with me being bipolar. Um, but then again, apparently like me thinking I'm not like bipolar, which I don't know, like, I mean, yes, I was diagnosed, but like, I don't know, like you guys, I'm like, I, I guess like that's like me, like the reason why I think I don't have it is like why I should be going back on medication because it's what everything says, but I feel fine. And I don't like, it's, ah, that's the whole problem. Do you guys like, like this? I got it, I like it. I can have it over my bed, you know, stop the stigma. You know, I guess like, I mean, just some more concrete examples. Um, I've been applying to like, and like I feel like I need, I feel like I felt like I needed, I still feel like I need an internship like during school, like this fall, like, don't know why I have like plenty of job interviews lined up for full-time jobs but like I want to be doing more I want to like be helping like these different like groups I want to be like social I want to like go to parties I like want to go to events like I'm like doing YouTube stuff I want to do collabs and like this all this stuff seems like so much fun and I want to do it and there's just never enough time but there is enough time because if I stay up I can do it all like I can do my YouTube videos along with all my other work because I'm making videos at 3 a.m. in the morning because I feel like I don't need as much sleep um, and like, obviously, like, I know that mentality is not good because you need sleep regardless. Like, I'm not a superhero. Um, so I understand that part as being bad. Um, I think today also it really hit home, like today specifically in my classes, we were talking a lot about like race and education. And like, I'm super passionate about that as well, along with mental health issues. Um, and believing like, you know, breaking down racism and I believe education research, like that's like my huge thing I'm studying. And I've had this, like, I got angry, so, so angry, um, in class not at anybody because of the conversation, like the conversation was very good, very productive. Everyone had 
no one was like racist, <laughs> like, you know, like nothing like, I wasn't mad because like someone like said some fucked up shit. I was mad because I'm like, what do we do about this? Like, like what do we do about racism? And I think like, you know, it's general that like a lot of, you know, minorities, a lot of disenfranchised people get angry about these situations because like, what do you like, you feel powerless. I think that's a natural feeling. But like, this was like, like it felt like a, just like a, Surge like it just like you know like how like like a flood of like anger just came in me and I was like thinking about like I don't know what to do about this like this is like I have to solve racism like this is like why I'm here in the world like I have to figure out like racism is the root cause of everything I have to figure out like how I'm going to like solve this issue and if I can't figure it out then like what is life um, <laughs> so like I was getting super angry at myself super angry at everything because I didn't understand how to fix it I didn't understand like why it's not being fixed I was angry that like I'm still in college and not out in the world doing more um, I think that's like been a common theme for me that I feel like I need to be like solving critical issues and that like I'm here and like I think that's good in the sense that like everybody wants to like you know solve issues wants to be helpful wants to have them like wants their life to mean something but I'm starting to like conceptualize like um unrealistic goals for myself like as a person i'm i'm the sole person who's gonna fix racism in the world like i mean like no <laughs> um like it's not my it's like one not my responsibility um it's a collective responsibility and two like it's just not gonna happen overnight but i felt in that time within that like hour i like didn't see that i was just focused on that and i was ready to like blow up and start throwing shit uh, another thing that's like been really getting to me also is that like I understand the like the neurological like brain chemistry like bipolar like I understand like why it exists and how it exists but in terms of like if I understand like the symptoms I see the symptoms like sort of now I'm like clear enough to see that like I'm going down the same path I was last year and that this is gonna like lead to like some type of depressive break which is why maybe I should be back on medication regardless of like what the fuck it does to like my body at this point um, like looking at that, I can see that now clearly. But like other times, like I don't see that. So, sorry guys, my brain is like racing a thousand times. I don't know what the fuck I was talking about. I remember now. Um, so like, doesn't that mean I would be able to like control it in a sense? Like, I understand like some people can't, but in my case where I haven't had like large like outbursts that like um, episodes or whatever that have caused me to be hospitalized, I haven't had those. Um, so like, wouldn't that mean that like maybe I could be more in control of it, which means I wouldn't need medication? I don't know because isn't that like, like people say that like me saying that is like a symptom in itself. Like how do we know? I don't want to be like medicated. I don't have to be. Um, and like, I don't know. Is it like it all could just be in my head? I don't know what's going on. I'm so confused. <laughs> I know that like it's just weird. I know that these things are bad for me in terms of like me not taking care of like my body I was doing really well until like wake hit and then school got in the way that like Shit, I can't forget what I'm saying Stop thinking about other things Um, so my body that's what I was talking about. I understand like me not sleeping for four days or like me sleeping for two hours in like three days or something like you know something insane like that while like I might not feel the need for it I start feeling it in my bones like my like actual muscles and bones start to hurt when I'm walking to classes and like just doing anything um, like my eyes right now my eyes hurt right now um, which is why I'm gonna force myself to like go to sleep take some medicine and try to get some sleep because my eyes hurt so like I'm starting to feel like these physical effects of my body being like yo what are you doing but my brain is like not feeling the same way um, and like the whole eating thing like I'm struggling like I can't like I'm not hungry like I feel like it's a waste of time like and then like I realize like oh it's been like two days and I haven't eaten anything and I'm like I have to like I don't feel like I'm going to like die but like at the same time like that's how you don't like you just get like, faint, at any, faint at any time I don't know um so it's like being very aware like I don't know I feel like I come out of like I go in and out of these pockets of awareness um and when I'm in these awareness spots I'm like can't I just change my behavior and then I go and do something else it's like <sighs> It's like a struggle within myself. It's good Julius and bad Julius. I like, don't know. Another big thing that I've like, which is why I've been struggling with this whole mania thing and like whether or not like it's dangerous and like just this whole thing is that like, I also don't feel super, super, super like energized or super, super elevated 100% of the time. Um, I'll like go into like if something small, like something like 
no one else like would even perceive as being like the biggest thing like if someone is sitting on my couch the wrong way um and it's like ruffling like the pillows or like it's ruffling like the rug like underneath the couch like if they're like messing up like my intern like my flow in my mind like something like that i'll like my mood will completely change i'll get angry i won't say anything because i've like learned that like you can't just like go off on people for that stuff uh which is what i did last semester um and then like so like i'm trying to like keep calm <laughs> um and just say nicely like hey could you do this because like you know it makes me like some makes me feel uncomfortable um and like my friends like understand we'll, we'll legit like for no reason like i'll be walking and i'll like just start crying and it won't like last long it'll be like 10 minutes but like i've legit been in my apartment and just like broken down and started sobbing for no reason um like i mean obviously there must be a reason i guess but like it just feels so good to start crying um which like i don't i'm just gonna preface this like I don't know if there's, I guess there is, there's a stigma around like crying and like men crying. Um, I'm not even gonna acknowledge that because that's all bullshit. Just so like if anyone out there is thinking that. I don't know, it's like I have these, I'd say like maybe 70% of the time I'm like, I feel like, 60% of the time I feel like I'm normal. Um, and then like the rest of the time I'm either like super, super elevated where I'm like emailing like professors and like different organizations and trying to like do some like st crazy stuff that like I probably shouldn't be doing because I should be doing like my physics homework and like other things that like I don't need to like you like y'all y'all know um and then like other times I'll be like oh, I can't get this bottle open my life sucks uh, I just want to die <laughs> and that's like literally where I will go to um for like maybe not a long time but I'll go there for the next even 20 minutes sometimes like if I am rushing somewhere and I'm running late It'll make me super uncomfortable and let's say like I hit a like I hit every single red light. I will be like, oh my gosh, like what is life? This is like I just I wish I like I could end everything right now. And like I don't know why I feel that, but like it's like not even like jokingly, like it's like like you know how people are sometimes um saying like, oh man, I don't wanna do this. I just wish I was like so someone hit me with a truck. It was not it's not like that. It's legit like in that moment, within that like ten to sometimes thirty minutes, sometimes an hour feeling I'm like, you know, basically like fuck this fuck everything because of something super small like that which is why like i don't know like when you're manic don't you like is that like a mixed episode i don't know like there's no where this is why therapists are good which is why i think i need to like really start up treatment again like i'm still seeing a counselor and everything but like in terms of like where this is progressing i like i've seen this before um and i feel like this is how it was last year and then like look what happened in like the winter so i think like i, I can't do that again so I'm gonna try medication um, again. We'll see how that works.